Okay, folks, this is the next surface I'm going to attempt <laughs> to straighten up today. This is the before, and this isn't so bad up here. And I'll show you the after. Okay, this is partially uh, moving along. You know, I've taken out a lot of stamps for different projects, so I have to go file them back, so I'll work on that now. Okay, so I am making some progress. I still have to go through this little bin, but at least I have a clean area over here. And I do want to show you one of the ways that I organize my stamps. So I made up these boxes. I actually have a third one, and that one's all uh, girls and women. But in alphabetical order, I have alphabet and numbers and art and office, borders, flowers, and then anything house. So I have like chairs and things like that. Miscellaneous, this is in alphabetical order, sayings. And then I have Tim Holtz, and then I have travel and beach. So that's been helpful. It's not beautiful like on uh, some of the people who, uh, you know, really do this for a living. Uh, then I wanted to show you this thing. We made up a name. It's called Friendvy, and it's Friend Envy. One of the girls, my friend Lori, had this at a crop, and it's to hold your wet wipes because it's really for babies, and it's found in the baby section because we use these, like, to clean our stamps and stuff, but it keeps it convenient, and mine always dry out, so now they're staying nice and wet. So that's good. Next. I wanted to show you how I organize my dies and um, my stencils. So I have a book, loose leaf. You know me, I love my loose leaves. And I have some kits in here. And then I have um, magnetic sheets in here. And I've just been putting my uh, stencils on there. I divided this, I have two books uh, because it gets very heavy. So this way, you know, they're not beautifully organized, but I basically can find what I like. So that's helpful. These are all black. Um, what I should do really is cut them because the words are really hard to read backwards. Okay, so I am making progress. And um, next I'll do a little bit of maybe die cutting or gluing. Be back. Actually, I wanted to show you the stencils offer also. This is a big pocket for the, my very big ones. And the rest of them I have um, on both sides. Generally, I have a sheet of paper in between. And then I can put all my stencils in. I haven't even used stencils yet on my channel, but I will. So I have quite the collection because I, you know, had been doing a lot of art journaling and stencils are fun. They're even, look how cute this one is. They're even fun when you're doing um, uh, just collages for backgrounds and stuff. Like bricks and all, all kinds of things. So I wanted to share that with you. Okay, um, I just wanted to show you that what I used in those boxes of stamps were these envelopes. And I would just slide them in the stamps. And if they were too big, I would sort of just cut the background so I could um, get two in one. So I just wanted to share that with you. And I probably purchased these on Amazon. And these are, let's get a measure, about five and a half by about seven. So that's the story with that. That was a funny ruler because it was a centering ruler. <laughs> Okay, so I will put those back. They went in the house section and get rid of this. And now I'm going to work a little bit more on this bin because I do want it ooh, to, I want to empty it so I can use it for something. So let's get cracking. 
Um, I did go through a little bit and I did cut out some, um, throw out some. And this I want to use in the purple glue book. So we'll start with it big. And if I want to get rid of that other lady, I can do that. So that goes in that bin for the pink and purple. And um, uh, there's nothing here I want to keep. Wow. Now that's fancy. That's Lizzo. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay. That's good. And let's see what else. Oh, I was thinking of using her for the pop of red. And I could use this lady on the pink, either in my pink and purple glue book or the pink page in my multicolor glue book. And I can use her actually on the red page or the pop of red, and I'll cut it out a little better. I'm just taking it out now and get her out. It's a cute outfit. So what are you up to today? I started this video yesterday and then I got busy at the pool and then I called up the boyfriend and said, I think the pool is warm enough for you. And we did that. And then we went out to a lovely dinner and then we went over to the beach and sat in the gazebo. This is for the black and white glue book. I really like this picture or I could use that for a pink page. So I'm getting quite the collection here. Actually, let me just put these in here. I like this for the orange page. Get this guy out. And I could fussy cut him or just keep it the same way. And I like this for the black and red. And I like these eyes for the eye page in the and mask glue book. So I'll, I'll probably cut them out individually. And let's see, I was thinking of Papa Red could be this, or even this little thing here. If I have a page that doesn't have much room on it, So I reached 50,000 views yesterday. I was so excited. Thank you to all of you who are watching. And if I mentioned it yesterday, that will be part of the same video. I apologize, being redundant. Okay, and let's get this little thing out. I'm gonna use a scissor, just go boom, boom. These little ones, it's easier than using the trimmer. Okay, now I wanted to use her eyes also. So let's use a bigger scissor. Vroom, vroom. Let's see how much room we have on that page. I'm not sure if we'll keep the eyebrows or individualize everything, we'll see. And then I want this for the red page in the colored glue book. I thought this was so crazy. Crazy. From This was from a Vanity Fair. And that's that. So I have my next project in the craft room because I'm making progress. And I do have some places available now to put stuff and I feel a little bit more organized. I have a chair where I've been piling stuff. So that is going to be the next project. So I'll see how I want to cut this, but I just love this picture and I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. And in this one, I like this. I have a mask page because I started this during COVID. Um, but this is Courtney Cox and Jennifer Aniston, and I could use it on the pet page and the pet um, glue book, or I think I'm going to put it on a blue page. Uh, 
I went a little crazy when I was at Michael's, um, when I was buying the um, book to send as a gift uh, for my 600 um, giveaway. And I bought a book that's like it, except all the pages are blue, because I know how many millions of blue I find. And what did I want to do here? I don't know. Oh, I know, I wanted to take out the pen for the P page. Okay, I always use a long skinny thing. Okay, you didn't have to see how fast my heart was beating. <laughs> I think tomorrow um, I will do a little bit more cleaning on the video and then I'll start to glue all this stuff in. I'll make sure it's all fussy cut ahead of time. Okay, I like the word best or maybe the whole thing for the blue page. So I'll just take this out and then I'll decide if I want to use some of it or all of it. And boy, that looks like a juicy hamburger. Mm. Yummy, yummy. I'm going to just keep that for my random glue book. And then these were really nice. I thought maybe we'd use some of these for the red glue book. And could always cut them out individually and see where they fit. Could use this part or that part. got a lot of goodies to glue in. Okay. What should I read next? Okay, I like this yellow bowl. And there's some good words in green back there. So let's get this out. And let's see what we want to do with the words. To do, um, oh, I wanted creativity. Being a somewhat <laughs> a creative person. Uh, and that I will probably put on the C page in the alphabet rule book. It's hard to keep all the glue books in your head at the same time when you're looking at pictures. Let's straighten that out. Okay, got that. And then I wanted to take the word vaccines for the B. Hope you all have had your vaccines. And I will be getting another one around the same time as the flu shot, because he'll be coming out with another one. And I had three friends lately with COVID again. So I'm not taking any chances. Even if I get it, then you don't get it as badly. And I have no idea why I kept this. Oh, I like this for the yellow page. And after this, I'm gonna stop and piece together all these little pieces I took, see how they end up coming out, and wish you a very good day. Today is Saturday here. I'm scheduled for the pool, as usual. Take care, have a great weekend.